Hi, my name is Lucas David. I've been an art teacher for more than a decade, and one thing that I've learned is that people struggle with proportions. That is why I want to tell you about the Exact Art Proportional Tool. This instrument helps you get your proportions right. Anybody who's done a portrait knows how tricky this can be. Now, there are other companies who also make these instruments, but this one is specifically made for me and my students according to the specs that I prefer. It is not big and bulky, it has sharp points, it is firm and it keeps the tension and it works like a charm. Now I'm going to show you three ways how you can use this tool to help you get your proportions right. It doesn't matter whether you are a professional artist or a novice. Everyone can benefit from this instrument. Check it out. Before I demonstrate the different ways which you can use the exact art proportion tool, let me first explain the principle behind this instrument. First, this instrument can either enlarge a small picture or make a big picture smaller. Secondly, whether you enlarge your picture or make it smaller, the proportion ratio doesn't change from one measurement to the next measurement. Now if I tighten the nut at the center position, then my picture will be enlarged by a fraction if I measure the picture with a side that has holes in and I apply the measurement on my canvas with the opposite side. If I move the nut away from the center, my picture or reference will be enlarged even more. Now here you can see the nut is fixed at the fourth hole and my picture will be enlarged considerably. Once you have found the position for the nut that suits you, then leave it there for the duration of your project. Now I want to demonstrate how this instrument works. The first method I call the training wheels method. This method works great for people who have no or little drawing skills. Start by drawing two middle lines on your picture, one vertical and one horizontal, and do the same on your canvas. Now, make small dots on the lines of the subject on your picture. The more dots you make, the more it helps you to translate the lines of your picture correctly onto your canvas. Next, determine the proportion ratio on your exact art proportion tool. For this demonstration, I've tightened the nut at the middle position. By measuring from the center, you can easily see where your subject crosses one of the middle lines. Now I want to determine how far the dots are from the vertical middle line. Measure the distance of the dots on your picture now from the vertical middle line using the side with holes on your proportion tool and apply it with the opposite side on your canvas and make a small mark. Next, measure the distance of the dots on your picture from the horizontal middle line again using the side with holes on your proportion tool and apply it with the opposite side on your canvas. There where the lines cross, there is the correct position of the dot. Now I want to get all the dots using the same process and then connect them until I have translated all the lines of my picture onto my canvas.
Next is the safety net method. This method works great for those who can draw but just want to make sure that their proportions stay correct. Take your pencil and make a mark where the top of your subject should be on your canvas. Don't work too close to the edges. Now determine the slant of the head. You want the eyes more or less in the center of the canvas. Decide on the proportion ratio of your instrument and start to measure from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. And apply the measurement on your canvas by making a mark where the chin and the top of the head should be. Keep the lines perpendicular to the slant of the head. Next is the breadth of the head. Remember to measure using the side with holes on your proportion tool and to apply it with the opposite side. Keep the axis of your portrait in the middle when drawing a front facing portrait and draw the lines marking the sides of the head parallel to the axis of the face. Now you have a box to work in. Next, measure the distance from the top of the forehead to the top of the head and make a small mark. Now you want to determine the distance of the eyebrows from the top of the head. Then the placement of the pupils. and the bottom of the nose. Remember, you can also measure from the bottom of the chin. Now establish the middle line of the lips. Next, draw lines perpendicular to the axis of the head marking the placement of the forehead, eyebrows, pupils, bottom of the nose and the middle line of the lips. Now that we have all the horizontal lines of the face, we want to move on to the vertical lines. Start with the pupils and remember to space them evenly relative to the axis of the face. Now for the sides of the nose, the corners of the mouth and eyes. As well as the distance from tear duct to tear duct. Note that the tear ducts are a bit lower than the pupils. Lastly, measure the distance from hairline to hairline across the face. Now that you have a framework ensuring correct facial proportions, you can start to draw your portrait with confidence.
The next method I call the live drawing method. This method is intended for artists who prefer live drawing instead of working from pictures. Though this method does not differ from the safety net method with regards to portraiture and constructing a basic framework to work from. The important thing when working from a live study is to have a fixed position in front of your canvas and to measure the proportions of your study with a fully outstretched arm. Otherwise, the proportion ratio will differ from one measurement to the next measurement. Start by setting up your proportion tool and get the nut in the right position. I found that tightening the nut at the sixth hole was just the right setting for the size of the head that I want on my canvas. Next, just like the safety net method, you want to construct a proportionally correct framework to work from. Start by establishing the slant of the head and measure the distance from the bottom of the chin to the top of the head and apply it to your canvas. Next, measure the distance of the eyebrows, the pupils, the bottom of the nose, and the middle line of the lips from the top of the head or the bottom of the chin and apply it to your canvas. Now that all the horizontal facial lines are in, determine the distance between the hairline as well as the back of the head to the front of the face. Now you want to establish the distance between the pupils and the corners of the mouth. Now that your framework is set up, Start to block in big basic shapes, paying attention to the angles and distances of the lines of your study. Then move on to the finer detail and subtle curves and finish by erasing your construction lines. I hope this tutorial was insightful. If you want to buy an exact art proportion tool, please visit the Facebook page and leave a message. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video.